good morning. I need an appointment online. Can I see your ID, please? Yes. Hi, good morning. Can I see your ID, please? Proceed over to the door. The light on the wall will turn green, and you'll be able to open the door. Great, thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a great day. Thank you, you too. Hi. Welcome to Uma Flowers. You have it, um, that you could actually see it, and it looks like even smell it. smell it. Yeah, may I? Most dispensaries, you cannot do this, so this is really special. Mm -hmm. oh, that's nice. Let's see if we can zoom into that. <laughs> and it's tethered, so yeah, you can't walk away with it. No. <laughs> Tijala and Priyanka, Uma Flowers, congratulations on opening. Thank, Thank you so Thank much you. for having Grouches of Waltham. We're so happy you guys are here. Yeah, yeah I know really it's, a, it's a bit of a drive out to Pepperell, so we appreciate you coming here. We grew up in Waltham, uh, went to school there. We had like our parents own businesses there. So honestly, I've worked at like my parents' stores over the summer, like taking part in like what Waltham has to offer. So it's Waltham is just not another community that we're looking to open in. It is our community. Like we're from there. Waltham is my yeah, it's home. Our home. To be able to open up shop in Waltham would be like the ultimate dream come true. Hey, can I just see your Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Then I would you like to pay cash or card? I do have a pharmacy background. Oh, I do have a pharmacy background. And for me, cannabis is is medicine, just like you know, all the other medicines that I'm used to dispensing. So for me, using that experience in the pharmacy and applying it towards a dispensary and helping the community in a different way. And so I have my master's in public health. I've worked for a nonprofit in the past and just uh, working on ways to improve health in in the people in, in different communities. And I also do have like that business background. So I always envisioned owning my own business. And so I think that's what that's what kind of motivated me to open up. We're Hindu. So in our religion, we, there's uh, Uma, Ma, Ma Uma. So she is a, a deity. She's just brought a lot of good luck to our family when it comes to our businesses. And so we obviously needed all the luck we w to, to get this uh, uh, store up and running. So we decided to name our business after her. You have been working on the permit process for opening a retail location mm -hmm. in Waltham, one of potentially four retail, se separate, not connected cannabis dispensaries that are working on opening locations in Waltham. Where is your business at the process now, if you're able to share? We submitted a compliant and complete application for our special permit. We've met with the Ordinance Rules Committees um, several times, and through their process of just being thorough and diligently looking at all the different applications. They essentially wanted all four to five applicants to take part in a larger traffic study. Right now, the city is working to hire an independent traffic engineer to conduct this study, so all the applicants are waiting for um, them to do that, and then they will conduct the study. Um, unfortunately, there's no exact timeline that they've given us. We are eager to work with the Cannabis Control Commission to move our application process along. And we do need certain things from the city before we can do that with the state. Not knowing time and not knowing when we're going to be able to move things forward is our biggest concern, I would say. A lot of the concerns like parking and traffic come from the fact that when the first dispensary is opened, there was backed up traffic yeah. and big lines because they were the only couple of dispensaries open. There's like 200 dispensaries mm -hmm. open in, in Massachusetts. So, and that number's so that, just growing. Yeah, that so. number's growing. So I think the fear of parking and traffic, which is still valid in a big city, I think also is just something that we we understand from Pepperell. So that's something that we know we can, we can mm -hmm. mitigate in Waltham. And in yeah. your experience so far, how long is any given customer spending in the store? Like a, a time frame, everyone's different. Yeah, everyone is different. I would say probably max of like five to six minutes. I okay. Mean, it's it's like, a, yeah, I would say, so So the, for the customer that's just walking, walking in, in, getting it, and leaving, I yeah. would say about five to seven minutes. Yeah. For somebody that may want to adjust their order, add something on, maybe or 10 minutes. Questions. Yeah, or ask okay. questions, maybe 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah. Um, even with the customers that are staying longer, there has been no issue with the parking lot. For those in um, Waltham or even in the community outside Waltham who would like to support your application, how could they help support that at this time? I think writing a, a, a letter to the councilman um, about the support and 
including any, you know, reason why they're supporting us. That would be great. And then obviously, like, if you hear, like, there's a public hearing and UMA's on the agenda, if you can come in person and support, and support. us that way, that's even better. We thank you for the support. Just yeah. want to put that out there yeah. to all your followers. Yeah, yeah. We appreciate all the support that we've gotten so far. Yeah. yeah from you guys too. as well. So mm -hmm. thank you.